Hi, Aries. Welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. What's shaking bacon? Aries, it's time to do your love energy check-in for you and the one on your mind when you clicked on this reading and decided to hang out with moi for the next little bit or so. As we check out the energies for you guys for July 2023, and astrologically speaking, there is a butt ton of cardinal energy going on. So you, Libra, Cancer, and Capricorn are going to be leveling up, feeling changes, and going friggin' for it, okay? The cardinal signs are large and in charge right now. It is cancer season, so we're all focusing on our homes, on our families, on the ones we love and care about, all the good stuff. And we're changing, we're leveling up, and we're doing all this awesomeness. Top news stories, astrologically speaking, to over to your weather department with Archer. It's me still. Okay, so what you've got going on, Venus retrograding. This is rare. This is a unicorn type of event. So you're going to want to harness this energy because it's going to be retrograding from July the 22nd, Cancer Leo season. This Venus decided it wanted to be a Cancer Leo cusper. Okay, and then it's going to be affecting your fifth house till September 3rd. Well, the sun begins the month in Cancer and then transitions onward into Leo. There will be the full moon on the 3rd in Capricorn, that's Saturn energy. And then the new moon on around the 17th, I think, ish, in um, Cancer. But it'll be the third decan of Cancer. It's going to be a Cancer Leo Cusper moon. So it's a lot of passion on these buck moons and all that stuff that's happening on. So we'll be checking that out and seeing what is, we're going to see some mutable energy with the moon being in the third decan of Cancer at the end of the month. And same with the Capricorn moon. But this is going to be more of your mutable energy. Think about the Geminis, the Virgos, the Sagittariuses, and the Pisces in your life. And that's going to be more of like going to completion, making preparations for the next sign, like how the moon's got to prepare to go into Leo, or it's got to prepare to go into Aquarius, and those sort of things, which can create voids, of course, of course, where you don't feel anything. It's like when the moon is moving from one sign to another, and you got those lines you draw in the pie charts, you know, when you make the, the zodiac charts. When it goes through the black line, that's the void, of course. So you didn't even realize that when you were drawing those things, you, you were drawing voids, of course. So, yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's what you got. So maybe somebody likes watching makeup tutorials. I'm kind of feeling that right now, Aries. Or something about orange smoky eyeshadow. Yeah. All right, let's see. Am I resting? So you could be an Aries looking into this. We're going to check out the energies around uh, Mars, Uranus, Mercury. There's a lot of influence. It's more of a cruise control to set changes that you want and see where it goes. We will take a look at the deep past, where you've been, the present, where you are while you're hanging out with me, which I appreciate. I appreciate you loving that like for me, doing all the YouTube awesome that we do, and share this channel because I go live every Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from Aries to Pisces. And we also have an old school fashion tick tac TikTok, not throw chakra, chat room here every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Just come and hang out with us all in the chat. All right. So I appreciate you share and help the familiar grow to all 15,000 of you. I love and respect you. We will use the Influence of the Angels deck here for the new season of Archer Astrology for your clarifiers and my brand new Awesome Sauce Urban Tarot deck, which I'm completely in love with. This is my Grand Theft Auto deck. I love it. It's so fun. And we're going to use this one for your base cards. Okay. And as always here at Archer Airlines, we are only open to the messages for Aries' highest and greatest good preferable. Only fly the friendly skies for y'all. All right, here we go. Let's do it. For Aries, in the one on their mind for the month of July, 2023. What do we have for Aries? Two shuffles, Aries. One. Ooh, jumper. Right into my hand is the two of swords. Looking for a little peace. And the high priestess at the bottom here. Keeping something quiet about, though. All right, let's go for it. Two shuffles. One. And two. Let's love this deck for the amazing Aries. Here we go, guys. Bottom of the deck is the magician, the mage, the seer, the one creating it all. You are manifesting and coming into your own power and maybe even candlelight, candle magic, be something with candles up top here that's bringing in communication and change in a faster moving energy than you may have expected. Uh, Virgo and Sagittarius energy in this communication, okay? This is something that keeps you guys together. I've got strength the moon, and the five of wands, heavy Leo, Cancer, and Pisces, Aries. Interesting. All right, so your present position right now is strength. You're trying to just clean your wounds, heal, and work through this one. You could be an Aries looking into like bigger pockets method, wanting to invest in your fourth house to affect your fifth and sixth house placements with this moon energy, something that you're working on, wanting to fix up, uh, like a multifamily property where you're wanting to fix it up, 
and then work through it. And then like, do I re-rent this? Do I keep this one? Is it a good investment? I'm unsure. And somebody could be enjoying baseball or watching it. And something about Boston Mayor, isn't it? I love this little Red Sox shirt and everything that they're doing down here. This shows like the friendly competition that you have in like a baseball game where it's like, I'm voting for them, but and you're picking sides and choosing. And it's just like a fun sporting event. It's not so much of the struggle to try to get to the six of wands. It's like the competition of like John Lennon writing, how do you sleep? And then Paul McCartney writing too many people. So they might like take two. Interesting. But it's like some of y'all might even be looking into trading, investing. Like you're doing things there is to level up and get new ideas. This could be ideas from the past or something from the present or beginning. This moon card onto the five of wands shows me that you're keeping it close to the best, like pocket aces underneath there and wanting to manifest. So if it ties to this candle magic of the magician here with freaking Beethoven writing the symphony on this here, it does pull in the verb with unfinished symphony underneath that energy. You could have moon placements in Leo with this one showing a lot of strength to go forward. See how she's kind of like cleaning and preserving um, that statue, I believe. It's like somebody from the past that affects you that you almost look on in like a form of memorandum. Somebody may have transitioned, if so, I apologize. But your goal and destiny is five of wands. This competition is supposed to be here. This has been placed into your life for a reason. And we're in friggin' cancer season with the moon. So your immediate influence is friggin' cancer season. I know this ties to Pisces as well, but in this case, with the alligator and the lone wolf down there along with the lady there, this could be, I think it's the girl from the ring. You know, and look, even she climbed out after seven days. It took seven days, but she climbed out of the web, right? Right. All right. So your immediate influence is a lot of in your head energy with that moon of trying to work on your goal or destiny. And it feels like a struggle with this five or wands. But with the distant past, the recent past, you've got nine wands, heavy Sag to the tower, Scorpio energy with the emperor. That's you right there. So Sag Aries inflecting and influencing the most immediate times right now. All right. Your incoming energy in the environmental factors and your inner emotions. We've got the Ace of Cups, Cancer energy, and a beautiful little fountain with that one. To the Ten of Wands, more Sagittarius energy, wanting to break away those shackles and the ties that bind with the Three of Swords. Your inner emotions are affecting you. This is something that gets deep down into the heart chakra. Um, this person here holds the key for you. Uh, I almost wanted to call you Sag. That was weird. But I see the five and the ten, which are both fire signs. They're both wands. So it's like being in a point of of, of like the con taking control of your life path. Fives are the struggles to the ten points of completions that we have to get through. So this one here could go into that with the day trading with this. It's like a short-term investment to protect your goals and your energies here. Sag to Aries with this emperor on the nine of wands. It's Donald Trump would be jealous AF of this one. It's like fake tarot, AI tarot from June coming back. To build something new because your distant past shows this tower this is something that cut very quick but this person holds the key it's almost like i see a five of pentacles energy on this one you've got heavy leo cancer aries sagittarius scorpio you've got aquarius along with virgo yeah it's a lot coming in on this one but this is like taking control it's like your past has broke you like wounded warrior energy on this nine of wands but you're starting to try to find clarity and make more just most decide rewind up rewrite. I'm starting more decisive choices on this emperor to the ace of wands, two cardinal energies with cancer and Aries. And it's like a two of wands is your card, Aries. It's like a lot of two energy. You could even be a life path number two on this one where you have like decisions, two of cups, two of pentacles onto this energy. Because it's ten of wands with the three of swords, the environment of factors in your inner emotions on this is showing to come to a point of completion, but learning from this, this energy that like really hits and affects your heart soccer. I'm picking up on an Aries that loves casinos. You you may like, maybe you don't go and gamble all the time, right? Because it's like, you're, you're like more wise about your money out of this one. But it's like, you just kind of like the sounds, the emotions. Like if you're a girl, you like putting on the little back dress and the five inch red bottoms. So you can just go out, have the attention, have some fun. You know, someone here likes to renovate their house and change things up too with this on the moon to the nine of wands because it shows like every weekend you rearrange things in your home areas because like you like to keep things fresh. And even house plants are sticking out to me on this one. Maybe you like growing those plants or vines, hanging baskets, some to that effect. But you feel oppressed by this. Ten of wands, the ace of cups. It's like you wanted this love. And it wasn't there. You wanted it to be there with the moon. You kept it quiet, Aries, on that strength card. You wanted this, but you were unsure about how to proceed. Let's see. Give me clarifiers on this first row of the past energy, the strength, the moon, and the strife card. That's sun and moon. That's a complete, like, like 
circle, complete cycle, yin and yang, right? You know? All right. Out of the decks, the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, this was something with this pair of aces, more of that, like, gambling energy, taking a chance, taking a risk. Like, you really thought that this was love and, like, the Pentacles. Like, wow, this is, like, all three things. It checks all three boxes. On the strength, we've got the Hermit, straight-up Virgo energy. The Virgo decides to make an appearance. There's a lot of stuff you're not talking about. Like, you want to reach out to someone or maybe them, you, and, like, you guys aren't King of Wands to the Three of Cups. Something here is stopping you from your happiness, from what you want, Aries. You've got the stability coming in, and I'm starting to feel it with that Three of Cups. It's the happiness on that Ace of Pentacles clarifying everything. Something you're not talking about feels like it might be the choice. And I'm pulling a little bit of that twinning energy with this Aries energy out. That's you. And that's that third time's the charm card I get off the kings and the queens in the fire signs on that Three of Cups. Maybe the first two times, like the first time, you, you don't have up, right? And it, it flopped. And the second time, they effed up, and it flip-flopped. And then now this is like the third time's the charm coming back in in the Titanic deck. It's like Violet Jessup energy under that. So, yeah, it's like it's attached to someone that you've known. This is that someone on your mind, that someone that you've already done this dance with, with this King of Wands to the Three of Cups, 3-3. Three, three. And 33 is a master, ascended master's life path number that you come into. So it's almost like you're wondering, like, do I give them one more chance or do I just move forward? And it's like, you can keep thinking about it, but do you do it? Like, do I keep, do I move forward, do I move forward, or do you just move forward? You just put it into play. You know, it's like, it's like the, the comfort factor, because they, they feel like home with this Three of Cups. There was always something extra that was there for you guys under this tower with the Knight of Cups, Scorpio Cancer energy. Music could even be something that rains out. Maybe like they wrote a song for you, or you've wrote poems for them that have rhythmic cadences and tones to it where you could put it to music. But something about that Nine of Cups, it's a very unique offer. It's like something written in the stars on this one. And it's almost like spirit helping out. And I love that the angel up here in this one is a lefty guitarist because Bill's lefty, he's Gemini. But uh, you got the right hand to do down here, but it's like mirroring energy on this one because you guys love each other. So the Nine of Wands to the world card, 21. There's your blackjack card. There's definitely something about this. And it's like that whole world begins with a new little spark in this energy here. They feel like home. It's an energetical cord that can't be severed between this connection. Spirit will throw tests to see this, to see this play out. Eight of Swords to the Emperor with this in your head. See, that's the Eight of Swords that makes Spirit feel like, yeah, there's something about this going on. Something's happening. And I'm unsure which way to go with this one here. It's the, it's the test to see what moments we can handle. What will sever the connection or keep the couple from building? It's like you, you maybe you haven't spoken to this person in a while, and now like you're feeling like you want to speak to them, and it has you slightly confused and unsure of which way to go in your own energy of wait, I knew what I wanted, but I'm unsure about if I should go forward with this one. It sorts Gemini, the Aquarius energy. You see, the air signs and the fire are coming in in the in the in the clarifiers here. So you've got all the elements coming in to show yin to yang. It's like now you're like willing to or wanting to take a chance. I don't know why behind this ace of cups i'm thinking about flamingos now and like the little plastic yard decorations the dorky little things but they're they're cute or like somebody like lives by like a place that has big giant flamingos like in their in their like yard decorations or or something like that i don't know maybe there's like like something about the giant flamingo. like check out like spirit animal guys for some reason it's like i see a freaking flamingo dancing around here high priestess oh don't talk about it though that could be something to the four of cups that resonates under this the knight of wands. Okay. And the page of cups is right there. Maybe that's like your spirit guide or spirit animal. But if it's a flamingo, that's cool, man. You do you, Aries. But on that ace of cups, I also pull the page of cups, double cancer vision on this one. Heavy energy that in this cancer season in July, the astrological influence is going to take you there. But it's like there's there's like hesitation onto it. Because once upon a time, you might have walked away from it. Queen of cups to judgment. But this Three of Pentacles shows that you might be considering or at a point of wanting to give it another shot. And it's showing me on this Three of Pentacles, that's more three. So now three, three, three has come out that it could resonate out that you have ascended to a different point with strength, Leo energy, another fire sign. And double strength for confirmation on the Hermit too, Leo and Virgo, that you're trying to pull your way through something really, really grand on this one. It's trying to find the right strength to make those decisions. And when I get cards that clarify other cards like this one, then it's when I realize that, man, Archer, you're on point. You don't need to clarify this anymore. Ace of Swords, Aries is working on something here to make a decision. 
And your other energies over here, we've got the Emperor, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. It's a big stack, dude. It's a big stack. All right. There's hesitation here. When you see that many cards just kind of word vomit themselves out under the table on the Queen of Cups, then it's like when they get to that point that they're like, a little bit too much, unsure what to do, you know, and they try to go forward with it. So, all right, let's take a peek at some clarifiers on this. You might have walked away from this all at, at, at once upon a time. And, like, I feel like, like you live in a fantasy land that will never exist, but you've been manifesting card areas. The state of swords to the emperor, that's your energy. You've been doing this on off the job, on the clock, off the clock, everything like that. Try to manifest in something that you want. You may have walked away from it all, but somebody here is living in their emperor energy and maturing. Someone may be turning 27 or they're in their 27th this year. 27 or 2772 could mean something. July 2nd. I see the number six resonating. And like going through the Saturn return where Capricorn shows up and says, okay, y'all, time to grow up. It's 27 club for leveling up. All right. Let's see here. Look at that. It keeps popping like that. There's a lot of hesitation. Tower moment, seven swords, full card to the five of wands, a lot of repetition, two coming back. Six of wands is the outcome. It's like if you take that leap, it goes, all right? Someone might be feeling like like deer in the headlights. Like at the time that you weren't ready, you just weren't there yet. And it kind of the fight or flight kicked in. And like you both triggered into a dark night of the soul, page of wands. This was words that hurt, cut deep, and like got to the freaking point, And it was like no return from there. And it's kind of like dark nights of the soul triggered both of you guys to start the healing, do the work to bring it in and get into another point of this. I'm definitely pulling twin flame energy here, Aries. It's it's like you're thinking about your twin. All right. Confirmed or not, seven of cups. Scorpio energy, the other side of your coin for the most common connection. All right. So let's get clarifiers more down here on the end. Here. Give me this ace of cups. Give me this down here at the bottom with oppression and sorrow. Strong energy under this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Two of cups. Yeah. So... Cancer energy, a decision being made going forward onto it. I mentioned twos earlier. You could be a life path number two with that. Two of cups, six of cups, to the knight of pentacles and the two of swords. Willing to take a chance because Aries, you freaking miss them. This is a revival of the good memories. Look at this. This isn't a fight. This isn't anything bad going on. This is a revival of good memories and learning from the bad ones. I feel like they'd be open to this. This is the are you okay text. Now, to what took you so long? What kept you? It's just like, oh, my God. So Aries is reaching out. I got to make sure they're okay. Are you okay, Aries? That's sort of thing. All right. And it, it, it's it's like an Aries that's used to when you text getting a text back. It's like a cussing them out or something like that. And it doesn't happen this time because there was a big increase in maturity during this separation. All right. It's not the end of the old, but it's the end of an old way of thinking. All right. So let's see here. Two of swords. You take that chance, high priestess, to the ten of wands, to the six of wands. Look who came back with you, with temperance at the bottom of the deck. So you got victory and heavy fire signs coming in to mix up the concoctions that bring in the balance and the healing. This, this dude, dude, Archangel Michael, know what he's doing. Sagittarius energy on the nine of wands. Heavy Sag in the outcome about this choices, this decision. And that's maybe even going into your records to get deep, to go through that knowledge, going far out to find the answers. Things like a Sag would do, that sense of adventure, that taking a chance, taking a risk, and, and the love and the rewarding that you're enriched with. You didn't expect this person to change, to grow, to heal under this one, Three of Swords. You thought nothing would change, nothing would happen. And yet it's like, wow, something came down, something went around. And you're pleasantly surprised to have seen that they've grown up and that rest was needed. This is this is like power couple vibes, two of wands, the two twos and the three threes, two, 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 and three, three, three are numbers that are hitting hardcore on this one at a choice and a decision and that's you i brought this up earlier and it done showed up here the two of wands being your energy and being at that place at that, at that place that point that you can make a decision and that life path number two is bringing up hardcore for me right now with this one too this this is total power couple vibes here in the third times the charm seven of pentacles going the distance and learning to grow that money tree that family tree and to create what sits at the head of the Pentacles table. It's the King of Pentacles, totally. Third time is indeed the charm. The Hill of Fortune. Whoa, and it jumped. It ran. Hang on. It ran. Hold on. Hold on. Wheel of Fortune. Spirit's clearing it out. We're getting totally into this one to complete it. I'm pulling Sag, Pisces, Gemini, and Virgo on this one. You've done the work, and Spirit's clearing out the pathways for the, the both of you to have leveled up, and you get what you want. Win-win, chicken dinner, etc., and so on. 
Nice. Aries, I love and appreciate you very much for being here. If this resonated and you would like to learn more, feel free to email me at archerastrology at gmail.com for a personal reading where we will hook up, connect, and take it from there. And I will see you every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for my live all signs from Aries to Pisces, as well as our chat room Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern. Come and hang out with me along with JW and the Mod Squad down in said chat rooms. Love and appreciate you. And do indeed remember, Aries, that this reading shall, will resonate with any and all Aries placements within your chart because we are FHA compliant here in Archer Astrology and will read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires. So until next time, Aries, make it an awesome one. And I love you to the moon above. Until then, peace out, Archer. Yeah, Chariot. Have you met my channel? Later.